another 2.5D jumping tutorial. Um, go with Matthew Lewis who, who uh, suggested doing a, a tutorial video on how to jump on top of platforms. So that's what this video is going to be about. Check it out. Whee! Whee! Jump on platforms. Jump off platforms. That's what this video is going to be about. Alright. The 2.5D world. Alright, so let's get started. Um, try to do this in under 10 minutes. So, I've gone and created a sprite. This is going to represent our platform. Um, really important, make sure you go to uh, Modify Mask and we're going to change the bounding box. Uh, normally it's uh, an automatic and pretty much the entire bounding box is, uh, the entire image is selected as a bounding box. And what this means is, let's bring up our little drawing thingy. So pretty much what this means is how thick your platform is, you know, like in old school um, beat-em-ups you had like these sort of cubes. So this kind of represents when your little character jumps on here, uh, the mask. So this mask represents how, how thick that platform is. And since our wall for our background that we're using, we're just we're gonna have a, a thin little sort of like a brick wall like this. So I don't want I don't want it to be too thick. So that's what the the mask represents. It represents the thickness of your platform. And in our case, we're gonna say that our platform is just gonna be one pixel in thickness. You can change that. Play around with those numbers. Uh, you get different effects. But for our case, we're gonna say that. And then uh, origin just zero zero. Another thing you also want to do is you want to make sure you come to your character sprite, the one that we created last time. Well, again, modify the mask. And uh, I, I just put the mask to be kind of, uh, this is sort of the space that your character is going to occupy. Um, and I just kind of put it at the base of his feet. So make sure you change uh, the mask because if you don't, it, it's not going to work correctly. All right. In case you come into this video uh, new, uh, this is building on top of a, a previous video, a 2.5D jumping, where we created this little character and, and some sprites. So if, if uh, you're coming to this video uh, fresh, you, you might want to check the other video out first. Uh, for those of you who have already seen uh, the last video, so we're, we're pretty much not, haven't changed anything. Everything's still the same. Our states and everything is the same. And really quickly here, I'm just going to uh, paste some code that allows for a little character to move around the screen because as of the last video, all he was able to do is just kind of jump up and down in place. So that's what this is. Uh, I'm going to change this later. This is just temporary. Um, all right. So create your new object. All right. Create a new object. Set the sprite to the, uh, the one we just created. And we're going to just add two events. A create event, which will pretty much all we're doing here is we're just kind of saying how, how tall our object is in pixels and for our case I'm just going to say that our object is going to be 44 pixels in height and make sure you put that negative number because like I said in the last video for some reason in Game Maker I don't know these negative numbers represent going up like if you're on the Y axis or the Z axis negative numbers are going up and positive numbers are going down so make sure you put negative 44 because that means it's 44 pixels above the ground and that doesn't make sense but Hey, game maker. Okay, so collision event. Add a collision event, collision, and then select your little character. Because this is a guy who's gonna jump on top of the platform. Or whoever you want to be able to jump on top of the platform, just put put them there. So we're gonna say um, if other dot z, meaning your character, is less than the z or the height of this object, the character's z floor will be equal to the height of this object. All right. So pretty much what that is saying, really quickly. Um, yeah. So what that's saying is that now you got your little. Let's just say this is the floor, and you know the Z floor is uh, zero. Or as supposed to say Z4 equals zero at right here. And then you're you've got your platform with a height of negative forty-four. So pretty much what that line of code is saying is that if your character in the air right there jumping. 
and let's say he's uh, just for sake of argument let's say this height is negative 50 so if the character's height is less than meaning meaning higher so you kind of have to flip you know think backwards if, if you're above this object then your new z floor will become the height of this object so your z floor will now be this object which will be a negative 44 so that's pretty much what we're doing um, here that's what we're saying and that's pretty much it that's how simple it is you just throw that in there and, and um, you're, you're, you're almost there you're about 90 percent of the way oh yeah another thing I did um, I created this little wannabe river city ransom background which I'll also include uh, I'll put this uh, on the patreon account you guys can download it for free and use it if you want and just a little background I created you guys can use your own if you want but um, we're gonna throw that background in here so we just go to backgrounds and then uh, select your background throw it in there kind of want to see offset it a little bit move it over this way and then also with the view because if I were to run the game right now it's gonna look kind of stretched out kind of skewed so I'm just gonna say 196 for the height on the on the views all right, um, one more thing, very important, make sure we throw our object in there. I've seen a lot of tutorial videos and it seems to be pretty common that everyone always forgets to, to throw their uh, object once they've created it. Um, if you want, if you think this doesn't snap where you want it, you can just hold down Alt on the keyboard and then that uh, you'll be able to be a little bit more precise with how you want to place your object. All right, so there it is. Uh, any one thing but hold on I want to show you really quickly what happens if we don't put this other line of code that we're gonna put right now so right now there we go we're moving so if I jump I'm on the object however if I you know walk this way I, I don't fall off of it so let's fix that so what you're gonna pretty much say is that if not that's what that exclamation mark is not place meeting so if you're not touching the platform, so if there's nothing underneath your feet, and your Z floor is not zero, then by definition what this means is that you're not standing on anything and you're in midair. So I'm gonna say that state equals jump. And then we're going to say that our Z floor is equal to zero. All right, let's run that. Let's run that bad boy. All right, so here we go. Jump. We're on it. And then if I walk off the edge, I fall off. There it is. Whee! On it, we're off it. On it, off it. And also, if I push down, I'll also fall off of it as well. And then if I push up, the uh, crap, it's crashed. Anyways, but if I were to hit up, then you fall behind it. And that's pretty much it. That's all, all there is to it. Um, that's how you pretty much make a... Uh, how, how, you, how you're able to jump on platforms. Um, one thing I do want to point out really quickly... Um, is... Uh, I think it was Matthew Lewis who had a problem with... Uh, not being able to move diagonally and jump at the same time. And that has to do with your keyboard it's, it's a limitation of the keyboard or like you're able to push a, a, a key like a, the arrow keys to the right or left and hit jump and it, and it jumps normally but however once you uh, push two arrow keys and the jump button like diagonally he, he won't jump diagonally like, like the jump will either be ignored by the keyboard or 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 he'll stop moving and just jump in place and that has to do with uh, keyboard limitations so one of the solutions you can use um, for that is to use a, an Xbox controller that pretty much solved the problem. You can also change the keys to instead of using arrow keys like VK left, you can just say um, Ord A, which means the keyboard A, A buttons, and this will this will also fix it. Um, and then the more the more expensive option would be to buy a, a higher end keyboard. But anyways. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I'll put the project file and the background file on my Patreon account. You guys can download.